Hey folks, your OS Reviews for watching our video first look and a quick overview of the CC308 Plus. This is kind of an interesting gadget. It uh, promises to detect wireless signals whenever that's present. So if you are perhaps in a casino, you want to check if someone is cheating, or if you are afraid that someone is spying on you, this is something that you can consider. Now there's a lot of features stacked on here, so it's a little confusing. It doesn't help that the manual is printed in translated English from Chinese, so there's a lot of uh, errors, but essentially it's able to detect a wide range of different wavelengths, whether it's by cell phone, by GPS, Bluetooth, uh, so you can know if someone's listening to something or have a you know a camera nearby, so it detects that, and it gives you a few different options to know. There's a vibration mode, so that it's going to vibrate whenever it detects a signal, or there's also a beep mode, so there's a monochrome speaker that's going to sound to give you that warning. So you can see here that some of the uh, wavelength that's able to see here is one 1.2G, 2.4G, so on and so forth. Another application is if you're afraid someone has tapped into your phone, that would alter the wavelength. So that's one way of finding out. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if this is really an accurate device because when I first tested it out, it seemed to just vibrate and buzz regardless of you know what mode I set it on. Obviously, you can change the sensitivity level, but uh, that's just something to quickly point out whether or not it really is accurate. In the box, you have access to the aforementioned instruction manual. As you can see here, it's both in Chinese and in English. Unfortunately, again, the English portion here is basically inputted into Google Translate. So some of the things are difficult to understand. And if you just pick this up from a store, maybe on Amazon, um, to access all the features, you need to play around with it. There's also a proprietary charger that uses uh, this port on the side. And there's also a crappy pair of headphones that's bundled in here. So you can use this to listen, I guess, if you don't want to use the built-in mono speaker. Um, and this is a proprietary 2.5 millimeter headphone jack and not 3.5 millimeters, which is a bit disappointing. So taking a quick look at the device, as you can see here, it's made out of this uh, soft touch silicon material. It is really small uh, and discreet. You can clip it pretty easily on a belt, for instance, or put it in your pocket to know. And there's also an antenna that you can stretch out to extend the uh, range so that, you know, if it's not within uh, a few meters, you can still detect whatever frequency that you're looking for. Over here, there's a series of LED lights, which allows you to change between different modes, as well as tell you the battery status. Uh, the rechargeable lithium ion battery takes about two hours to completely charge, and afterwards will last you for, I would say, uh, about 20 hours of usage. There's also, for some reason, a compass on here, which I guess might help you align things since there isn't a screen. So if you want to get closer to a source to know if you're uh, can find the person who is quote spying on you then you would probably use this to align and then the beeps might get more frequent for instance but um, yeah this is just a mechanical compass as opposed to a digital one. The sides here features access to all the controls including the power on off switch, the charging uh, controls in addition to the um, you know, sensitivity knob on the side which you can turn on here. And the back features a series of um, actually these are this is part of the quote laser function, so it uh, is able to also scan your surroundings. But again, whether or not it really works um, is up for debate. So that's just the overall design. It's self contained, the battery is not replaceable. So let's turn this on and show you guys some of the features. So I'm going to set it onto the buzzer mode first. And as you can hear, it's uh, going to be constantly vibrating more or less. Um, just to tell you that there is indeed signals nearby. And you know, you can t tap on this key once, kind of turn on the light mode. So it's going to actually scan your surroundings. Uh, so you can find this, I guess, more easily. But this is probably more meant for a household situation where you are afraid your phone is tapped, as opposed to a discreet way of you know finding out whatever is happening. And uh, afterwards, I can also change the sensitivity again to make it more sensitive, as you can see here or I can make it less sensitive so that it will be completely off. Uh, of course, the antenna also kind of helps with that. So afterwards, um, I can also tap with the beep mode and that uh, uses the speaker as opposed to the um, as opposed to the vibration motor on here to, to, to tell you if something like a phone or a camera is nearby. Obviously, I'm recording this video right now using a camera and I have a phone next to me, so it should sound theoretically. So if I turn up the sensitivity, Indeed, you will hear that sound. So it does seem to work fairly well. There's also an LED light that's blue that is illuminating the compass, so you can still see it under darker environments. So overall, not really too bad, but then again, something like this might not be super practical in real life, I think, especially since it doesn't have any smart features such as linking it up to maybe a phone. So you can actually display things and, uh, you know, 
navigate things a bit more easily because right now there's a lot of uh, features that you have to kind of find out through experimentation and still we're a little bit skeptical about the overall accuracy of the sensors on here but all in all kind of an interesting gadget to consider you can check out more details about this in our official written review but for now this has been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews this has been the cc308 plus spy or you know frequency finder